Hello, Plant Tribe, and welcome back to Plants, Pots, and Whatnots. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Nikki. Uh, if you're returning like the gluttons for punishment that you are, thank you so much for coming back. It is lovely to see you. So, today, I'm going to be doing something a little different. I've never done this before. I'm going to make a Kokidama ball. So I've watched all kinds of videos on how to do this and I think I've got everything that I need. So in front of me here, I've got my soil um, and to the left of that, I've got my water that we're going to use to make a big muddy ball with said soil. And then on my right here, I've got my lemon, excuse me, my <laughs> hiccup, my lemon button, <laughs> pardon me. Oh, I have my lemon button fern and this is the plant that we're going to use to um, yeah, to make this Kokidama ball with. And then I've got uh, my jute over here on my left, and that's what we're gonna use to wrap up the ball around the sheet moss that's in front of, well, you can't really see it. It's in front of the bowl, but it's there. So, if that sounds like something that you'd like to watch, go ahead and stick around, because this should be a complete <laughs> show. The good first step to any Kokidama ball making is to take a sip of your drink. And yes, it's potent because I feel like I might need it. Oh. Mm. Ah, that's delicious. Okay, so the first step into making the Kokidama ball is that you need to moisten your soil. So I'm going to take the watering can here and I'm just going to pour some water into this soil. And um, let's just pour, let's go ahead and um, yeah, that's probably good. Okay. So we're just going to put that off to the side there so we don't, you know, tip it over. And um, we're just going to get our hands right in there and we're going to get ourselves a little dirty. So what we're trying to do here is trying to make uh, a mushy a mushy ball and we need it to stick together so maybe I don't know how how we're doing all right here but maybe we need some more water I don't know what do you think some more water might help it's fun you know you can play with mud and yeah it's probably good yeah so we're just gonna make this ball and so this is basically the the soil that your plant is going to be potted in but not with a pot, you know, with a ball. Yeah, so this is kind of coming together all right. I think um, we just want to mold it into a ball, I think, if we can. So we're just going to take this, and the roots aren't too huge on this plant, so, oh, oh, we don't want to squeeze it too much. No, nope, because then it'll drip down our hands and into our sweaters. So how are we doing there? Is this ball sticking together? I think we, we I think we're good. Okay, maybe, you know what, I think we actually need some more on there. So let's just put some more soil on to make the ball a little bit bigger. Um, that's awesome. See, this isn't so hard. It's quite easy. Yeah, no problem. Okay, um, so I think that's probably a good start. So let's just set our ball down gently into the bowl so we don't break it. And then we want to go ahead and um, we need to pick up our, our fern. Let's just move uh, this watering can out of the way though. I think that's probably a wise idea. Okay, so let's grab our fern. Okay, now we need to get this fern out of the pot. So let's just take this tag out. We'll just throw that off to the side. Not into your drink. That would be gross. Maybe we should move the drink aside a little. Now let's take a sip first, actually. You know what? Yeah. Oh, my hands are filthy. <laughs> oh. mm. That's delicious. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna gently take this fern out of the pot, and you want to get as much of the soil off of the pot, um, off of the plant roots as you can. We're just gonna slide him. We're just gonna slide him right out of there. He's just gonna just grab the plant. There we go. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
Let's toss that over there. Okay, we just wanna gently kinda of get as much of the dirt off of the roots of the plant as possible because we have new soil for it in its little ball. So we just wanna kind of expose a lot of the roots and um, you know, make sure that uh, we've got enough, or we don't have too much soil, I guess is where I'm going with that. Too much soil is bad on the roots. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So um, yeah, we're almost there. We're just gonna give her a tiny little shake here. Oh, oh, yeah, just a little shake. See, like that. Okay. <clears throat> now let's just um, just if I can hold this up here, and we'll just take a look and see how much soil we have on there. Yeah, you know what? We can probably get a little bit more soil off. The more space we have, the better. We don't want to make this huge, massive, yeah, ball. So let's just get a little bit more of that off there. Uh, maybe around the top, closer to the plant. There we go. We'll just get that off. Okay, that's probably enough. Okay, so let's just gently set this um, plant aside on the other side of the pot there. That's a perfect spot. Okay, so what we want to do now is pick up our ball, okay, and we kind of just gently need to split the ball in half because we're going to put the roots of this in the middle. So it's kind of like a Pokemon, isn't it? Look at that. It's like a freaking round Oreo, only instead of, oh no, oh I'm good. <laughs> Not hungry today, <laughs> no. Um, Okay, so we're just gonna set that half down. We're gonna pick up our plant and we're just gonna set the roots of the plant into the ball, just like that. Now we're gonna pick up the other half of the ball and we're just gonna kind of mold the ball around the roots of the plant. There we go. We might need to add more soil. We just want it nice and ball-like. Nice and compact. More like a ball instead of an egg, I suppose. But it depends on what shape you like. You can make it whatever shape you want. That's not too shabby if I do say so myself. All right then, let's move on to the next step. Okay, now we're on to the sheet moss step. But before you start any sheet moths, you should always take a sip of your drink. Delicious. <laughs> it's been a long day. Mm. We'll just put that aside a little bit further just so we don't knock it over. That'd be bad. Alcohol abuse. Okay. So <clears throat> we just need to pick our plant up here and I think we just need to reball it a little bit because it kind of fell apart a little bit here when we set it down. So we're just going to we're just gonna pick that up. I think we lost a little dirt here, so we'll just we'll just take some more soil there and just pack it. Just nice and ball-esque. Okay, so now here comes the tricky part. We need to get this sheet moss around the Yeah, we definitely need some more here. It's not very ball-like. Oh, we, does this look like a ball? What do you think? Okay. We'll just hold that in one hand. Now we want to take a, we're just going to squeeze it. <laughs> squeeze it. Okay. Now we're going to take a piece of the sheet moss. Now the idea here is that this is going to be kind of like the outside of the ball. So it's going to look like a little grass ball. So we're going to take some of the sheet moss. And we're just gonna go ahead and put it around the outside. So maybe we'll move this piece up just a little closer to the top of the ball. And that way we can kind of put another piece around the bottom. There we go. So we just wanna kind of mold that. Perfect. So now we need another piece for the other side. So um, yeah, we'll just take this piece. That looks like, a, looks like a perfect piece. So we'll just put this piece around the other side, nice and close to the top there so that um, you know, we don't have any soil showing. Yeah, just scoot that right up the ball, 
right to the top of the ball there so perfect okay that's where we want that one okay now <clears throat> as you can see here we have a little opening at the bottom so we're gonna need to grab a little piece so we might just need to rip off a little piece of this moss here um, yeah no that's perfect okay we'll rip that off and we'll just place that on the bottom of the ball <clears throat> just like so excellent there's our little moss ball okay look at that okay so now here comes the tricky part I'm just gonna push this um, this tray of dirt out of the way here and um, we'll just shove that over there and we'll just move this tray of moss just push that forward there we'll just get it right out of the way just give it a shove there forward okay um, so I figure maybe we'll use this this dish over here and this is kind of what we can use to work on so I'm just gonna switch hands and uh, I'm gonna grab this plate <clears throat> but we should probably dump the dirt off of the plate into the bowl or onto the table you know what let's just dump it right there okay so let's put this down we may need to move that tray a little further out of our way perfect okay so <clears throat> now this is where it becomes a little tricky because we need to take our jute and uh, we need to wrap it around the moss okay so because I've only now got one hand because I'm holding this moss ball with the other one this might become a little bit difficult so let's grab our jute Okay, we'll just um, <clears throat> basically here, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> pardon. So we're going to take the end of the piece of rope. Sorry, I'm just going to find the end of it here. Um, there we go. We'll just slide it. We're almost at the end. Okay. Um, and we're going to kind of hold this on the bottom with our right hand, just so we have like a starting point. <clears throat> it's just hard to grab there. It's a little slippery. <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and just wrap up and yep, right across there and then switch hands and you're kind of gonna wrap up and over and around and then up and over and around. And you just wanna, oh, that bottom piece almost slipped out of there. And basically the idea here is you wanna pull it a little bit tight, not enough to like completely restrain the plant. Oh, we're falling apart here again. <clears throat> okay, right across the bottom there, hold that piece on, excellent. So we're just going to continue to wrap this around and up and over, up a little further, nice and high, just right up there, and then around, and then yeah, we're just going to wrap it all the way around. Just keep, just keep wrapping it around here. Oh, <laughs> yeah. maybe a little higher though, so you have it around the entire yeah ball of the plant you want to make sure that it's you know completely wrapped solid okay there that's perfect excellent okay this is the fun part isn't it where you just get to wrap dude around a ball okay so we just have a little piece near uh near my thumb here my left hand thumb at the top that's just a little like weird and wonky and flailing around here so we're just gonna fold those two pieces in and wrap this jute perfect right up there excellent <clears throat> okay so now what you want to do is just take your scissors and cut off about a two inch tail on the end of um, the, the string rope okay so let's just uh, let's just cut the jute right there in front of that's a perfect spot um, we're just missing hold on we're just gonna <laughs> we're just gonna cut <laughs> dang scissors it's been a long day maybe it's the drink I don't know okay so we're just um <laughs> there we go oh <laughs> it would have been probably better if I used my right hand Let's just, we're just going to switch hands here. There we go. All right. Now we're going to cut the jute. Just like that. Excellent. Okay. 
And we'll be right back and I'll show you how to tie this off. Okay, so for the last part, as in any step, the first step is to take a sip of your drink. Hmm. Good old OJ and some other stuff. Okay, so we're just gonna take the little tail here. If you can see the little tail on the, uh, there you go. So we're just gonna take that and just kind of tuck it up in there as tight as you can and as best you can. Just wrap it around. Okay. You just want it snug enough. It's not going to all unravel on you when you're done. So there we go. We did it. We made a Kokidama ball. All right. So, <clears throat> um, I would like to thank my hands for this. They were a great, great help. So I'm going to give them a round of applause. It was me the whole time. Oh, oh my goodness. I know. You're shocked, right? Bet you didn't see that one coming, huh? <laughs> Super sneaky. Huge thank to Jordan. Um, it was really awkward for him behind there, but he was a champ. It was fun. It was <laughs> worth it. Definitely worth it. I would like to thank Aki um, for tagging us in this video. We actually had this video previously filmed, and then all kinds of stuff went sideways, and then I lost the video, and... We just won't go there. But it worked out perfectly because her and her husband did this video. It was so cute. And she tagged us in it. So um, thank you so, so much. I will post her channel below. Go check it out. She is a fellow Ontarian. And so that's really great. We're only about 45 minutes apart. So someday we're going to have to get together and do some plant shopping. So that's really exciting. Um, so as in any challenge video that Jordan and I do, we're not going down alone. <laughs> We're taking some people with us. So, we would like to challenge two different couples to do this. Um, one couple, I think it's been a while since we've seen a challenge video from them. Mm. And I know that we're missing it. And I'm sure you are too. So, Rachel and Casey from Heart Shape Leaves, tag your it. <laughs> we would love to see you do a Not My Hands challenge. You don't have to make a Kokidama ball, but it'd be funny to see you do something. <laughs> uh, repot a plant. I don't know. Get creative with it. Um, I'd also like to tag Astasia and Pete because I think that would be a freaking hoot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they are a blast. So both of those couples are amazing. I love them both. I will tag them both below. I'm sure that you already are aware of who they are, but... Um, yeah, they're down there anyway for ease of access. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I know that I've been asked a lot recently when Jordan's coming back. So oh. he's back. <laughs> Feeling the love. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. They love you. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, guys, if you liked this video, go ahead and give us a huge thumbs up. Um... And if you really like this video, please go ahead and subscribe. I am trying to work my way up to a brand new camera so that we don't have all these exposure issues and all this kind of stuff um, because I'm still filming on my phone. <laughs> Anyways, so it's a lot of help when you, um, you know, can comment and like and all that kind of fun stuff. And it's so much appreciated. Help us help you. Help us help you <laughs> to bring you better content. <clears throat> Okay, guys, thank you again so much for liking and watching and commenting and subscribing. I love you all to bitty bits. Have a great day, night, week, month, year, and I will see you in the next one. Mwah!